Good morning, Lorraine Purcell here. Welcome to Body Talk Friday. This is the day when we turn into your, tune into your 50 trillion cells and see what our body is saying to us. What is your body trying to communicate to you through maybe aches and pains, through maybe just your inner wisdom, maybe confirming things that you've been feeling. We're gonna spend time going deep into your 50 trillion cells while we align your energy and get ready to send this beautiful energy out across the entire planet. Um, I'm here with you every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern at facebook.com forward slash Lorraine Purcell MA. And uh, this is just, we just have a ton of fun here. This is actually the place where the Earth Angel Nation gathers and we remember who we are. I teach you who you are. I show you how to raise your vibration. I show you how to align your energy. And as you're piling on, if you would please say hi in the comments. A lot of times Facebook does not show me that you're here. And if I'm ever not here, it means Facebook is having a glitch and I will be over on my YouTube channel, which is Lorraine Purcell MA also. So welcome, welcome those of you on Instagram. I am so excited to be here with you today. Um, I recommend that you put this on your calendar as a recurring event. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern, you set your alarm for 7.45 a.m. Eastern so that you're ready to go when this thing goes live and you, your life will never be the same. <laughs> your life will never be the same. So I am going to turn on some lights back here. People heal in this space. Um, people's lives come online in this space. And um, lives change. Your life will change if you put this on your calendar as a recurring event and you show up here every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern because you can't help it with the energy. <laughs> the energy is just, um, just crazy. Okay, we, we access the quantum field of all possibilities here. So um, just a little bit about myself. I am uh, 27 years, a counselor and a coach. Work with thousands and thousands of people around the world. And um, I am just so honored when you come and spend every Monday, Wednesday, Friday with me at 8 a.m. Eastern and watch your energy get higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. As soon as you jump on, will you please say hi in the comments so that I know you're here? Um, and because uh, I, I just want to know who I'm partying with today. So this is like our Friday block party all over the world. And um, yes, let's just start breathing and bringing some oxygen all the way through the our head channel, all the way through our body down into Mother Earth, down into Mother Earth, down into Mother Earth. Yes, 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 yes. Please say hi in the comments. I see Karen is here. Yes, Karen. Woo! Yes, yes, yes. You're the first one on the board this morning, Karen. On Wednesday, it was Hope. Hope, you're here. Oh my gosh, yes. I was reading your comment that you've been riding your, you were riding your bike on Wednesday. While you're on the call, I thought that was brilliant. And I'm getting a Peloton bike. I'm gonna call them as soon as I get off this phone today, off this call. Rosetta, good morning, our newest member to Hacks for Anxiety and Depression group. Everyone here is welcome to join my private Facebook group free called Hacks for Anxiety and Depression. Georgia from Australia is here. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. I feel a sneeze coming on. Yes, 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 yes. What do you want to celebrate yourself for today? What do you want to celebrate yourself for today? And I want to know your highlight of the week. What is your highlight of the week? We started our week with the intention for the week. I think mine was to be relaxed, 
be more relaxed and surrender. I think I did that pretty well this week. Um, how did you do on your intention this week? And also, I wanna know what your highlight of the week was. My highlight, I think it was um, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Just a very victorious day. I learned how to walk that line when you're with somebody who isn't feeling well, how you can still be in your joy and in your energy and be an uplifter for them without diving into their, their stuff and feeling like you have to completely, um, you know, empathize and sympathize and then you're of no use. Verna is here! I could feel your energy, darling. I knew you were, you were going to swing in. <laughs> Um, okay, so yes, 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 yes. What do you want to celebrate yourself for today, for this week? What do you want to celebrate yourself for for this week? Go ahead and drop it in the comments, please. I'm dying to know what you want to celebrate yourself for this week. I... I don't know if I want to celebrate myself for this, but I've crashed now my third computer uh, in three months. Brand new computers. And the only thing I can, it's the hard drive always gets messed up. And the only thing I can think of is it's my energy. There's no other explanation. These are brand new computers. Uh, okay, Hope, yes, you inspired me to get off my butt and start my exercise day early. Yes, I love that. I'm gonna put my Peloton bike right in my bedroom so that I'm sitting there and I can cycle on my, uh, while I'm watching movies or just cycle whenever I feel like it. I have my stair stepper in there now and I'm, I just get on and I'll do like 50 stair steps. It feels so good. I'm so proud of you. I celebrate you, Hope. Yes, 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 yes. I checked out, oh, George, I said, checked a lot of important things off my list, off my to-do list. Yes, Georgia, celebrating you. Karen, my highlight was helping a friend in need and I celebrate myself for creating a magical space. I like the way you spelled that. For me to meditate. Oh my God, I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that, Karen. Oh, okay, you all. Verna, what do you want to celebrate yourself for today? Rosetta, what do you want to celebrate yourself for? For this week, a trend that you've seen that you're going in an upward spiral, what do you want to celebrate yourself for? I want to celebrate myself also for um, going into how can I make this easy? How can this be easy? How can this be easy? And influencing those around me, how can this be easy? My easy button. That was easy. My sister asked me where to get these. I got it at Staples for anybody who wants it. Here's our little bumblebee to remind us that if this bumblebee is so perfect. Kelly, good morning. How much more perfect are you? That there's all this life purpose energy in this bumblebee? How much more perfect you are? Okay, and the, the word I wanna give you for today is what you are seeking is seeking you. What you are seeking is seeking you. What the thing that you seek, seeks you. So that thing that you desire, hope to get really fit, um, Karen to spend time in your magical space, <clears throat> Good morning, Vicki. What you seek seeks you. So that thing that is the desire of your heart, it's after you as much as you're after it. We are creators 24 hours a day, seven days a week in our lives. Okay, I'm gonna catch up on some of these comments. I know some really good ones have been coming in. Ah, uh, yes, Verna. Verna is celebrating herself for sticking, sticking with it. Even though everything was going wrong, <coughs> I kept saying everything always works out for me. Yay, Verna. Yes, 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 yes. So true. I celebrate you for that, darling. Yes, yes, yes. 
hope. After two months, I started to see weight loss. I definitely celebrate that. Oh my gosh, Hope, that you've been doing this early morning exercise for two months? Wow, 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 okay, everybody. Hope is on her bike, her exercise bike when she's watching these live streams. You can do anything you want with these live streams. I am here for you three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, to remind you who you are as an infinite creator, as an infinite being, that we don't have to take crumbs anymore. So I highly recommend that you do that. And my sister said she was gonna set her alarm and be here at 5 a.m. in California. I know in uh, Australia it's 10 p.m. I celebrate you. Georgia, I saw one of the yes buttons in Officeworks yesterday. Yes button? Oh, I want one, except we don't have the Officeworks. Maybe I'm going to Staples today to turn in my third computer. <sighs> Is it since the first of the year? I don't even know. Feels like three months. Probably more like five months. Um, so I'm gonna see if they have a yes bar button. That would be so awesome. Yes, Georgia. Vicki, good morning. Bad flare-ups yesterday, chest and back tender. Send healing prayers, love to all. Okay, we're gonna send healing right now to uh, Vicki. Just see her have healthy, see her well. The flare-ups could be um, just things bubbling up to come out, Vicki. I am seeing that. Okay, healing, healing, healing to Vicki and Charlie. Yes, 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 yes. Beauty, 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 beauty. Joelle, you're here. That's what matters. Yes, Joelle. Kelly, I lost 84 pounds during lockdown. I worked out and ate right. Can you believe that? Oh my God, Kelly, that is amazing. I celebrate you, sister friend. Anything is possible, y'all. Siska, good morning in London. Siska's going to be one of my guests coming up in the Women's Self-Love Journey program. Yesterday, we had the best time with Sarah Wayne, who is a mindset healer. And she was with us for the whole time. She got up at 5 a.m. in California and spent the whole time with us, the whole hour and a half in the Women's Self-Love Journey online uh, video discussion. And um, it, was, it was divine. It was lovely. For more, if you want more of this on a more intimate level where I get to see your face and hear your voice and you get to express yourself, go to womensselflovejourney.com. W-O-M-E-N-S-S-E-L-F-L-O-V-E-J-O-U-R-N-E-Y.com and check it out there. Uh, Karen, yes, Kelly, I think I found it. Okay. Darcy's here. Good morning. Good. Yes. Happy Friday morning, Darcy. Okay. So let's take a deep breath. Your, your white light is coming down through your, your crown chakra, all the way through your body, down into the middle of Mother Earth. And I want you to intercept, feel the, notice the interception of the Schumann waves as you go down, 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 all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. And just feel Mother Earth's support for you. Feel Mother Earth's support for you. And tap into her message for you. What is her message? What is Mother Earth's sacred message to you? The better it gets, 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 the better it gets. This is a party time here, you guys. These Monday, Wednesday, Fridays are turning into like block parties and it's just so much fun. So as soon as you get Mother Earth's message to you, please drop it in the comments because it will 
edify and uplift everybody anybody who's here and haven't said hello please say hi to me because facebook's not showing me who it is that's here and i want to welcome you newcomers are welcome we're a tight tight knit community here but newcomers are welcome always 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 uh, this is the space where you come to remember who you are as an infinite being an infinite creator every single minute of every single day you are creating what is it that you want to create this is where you remember and we do that here today so mother earth is saying the better it gets the better it gets This is the place where you can come and be full of yourself. I am um, an earth angel, as you are, and we have an inferior ego, which means we are the ones that are can be filled with self-doubt, filled with fear, filled, filled with fear of rejection, and... Um, <coughs> My purpose and my mission is to raise up the Earth Angel Nation. Those of us who have so many gifts, those of us who were uh, killed, burned at the stake in past lives because of all of our gifts, it is time for us to come out. The world needs our gifts now. We're not going to get burned at the stake for it anymore. We're in the 21st century, so we're safe. And my mission is to remind you who you are so that you come full circle with your gifts and you get bigger and bigger and bigger and start to practice being full of yourself here, full of yourself, become life-giving, a life-giving, generating being that just gets bigger and your glow gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. And you start to impact everyone around you with good and with, with the light that you are. We are light. We are light in physical form. We, this gang, the Earth Angel Nation around the globe, we are light in physical embodiment. All you have to do is start turning it on. And I'm here to remind you who you are so that you will start turning it on. Karen, Mother Earth saying, stay the course. Kelly, Mother Earth saying, stay clear. I'm on the right path. Yes, stay clear. Keep your energy high and clear. Keep your energy high and clear. Whatever you have to do to do that. Sometimes I even listen to my own live streams. I've always got things going to remind me of my power so that I don't go to sleep with it. I'm here to wake up the Earth Angel Nation. It is time. It is time for us to come online. It is time for us to shine. Yes, Karen, I love that. Stay the course. Rosetta, Mother Earth is saying, breathe, relax. Everything will be okay. I feel it and believe it. Yes, 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 yes. Now just savor that and hold on to it and um, ruminate on it, cultivate it, keep that feeling, um, expand that feeling, that feeling you're feeling, Rosetta, now it is your, your um, opportunity to make that be your new identity. I was just studying Dr. Joe Dispenza this morning, and if we don't have a vision of our future, we are dictated by our past because the mind is an archive of the past. It is an, uh, he didn't say antiquity, there was some other word for it. It's an, um, anyway, it's just an archive of the past, of the past, of the past, of the past, of the past. And unless we feed it with our future vision, that thing that has been sown in your heart that hopefully is coming alive and online here as you spend every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern with me here, when you come online with that desire that has been sown in your heart, that handshake deal you made with God when you came here to this planet, that this was what you were going to do, this is what you were going to expand and grow into here. As you come online with that and you start to believe those visions, Joelle, as you start to believe those feelings as being truth, 
as you start to believe, believe, believe again, believe again, and trust those visions, trust those visions, trust those visions, you're gonna be going further and further and further. And you know what? There is no end to how good we can be feeling. There is no end, but there is an end to how bad we can feel because we'll only take so much of it before we're like, done, uncle, tapping out, <laughs> right? But there is no end to how high, how high we can go. And so my recommendation is that you put this in your calendar as a recurring event every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern. Set your alarm for 45 minutes before the hour, 7.45 a.m. Eastern, so that you are ready and you're here at 8 a.m. when the energy starts pouring through me. And um, set your alarm at 8 a.m. Eastern, wherever you are in the world. I know in England where Siska is, it's around maybe one, I think, one in the afternoon. So you're here and you get this energy. And if you're in Australia and those places where it's bedtime, you can just put me on and let, let me put you to sleep and let the energy just flow. And if you're in California or Hawaii and it's really early in the morning, you just put it on and go back to sleep and just let the energy flow to remember who you are, remember who you are, remember who you are, remember who you are. So now that you've felt that and believe it, Rosetta, your job is to write it out and put it in cards all over your house to remind you of who you are and stay in that, stay in that energy, stay in that energy. We were talking yesterday in the Women's Self-Love Journey how the world is, how this world is energy, but people will sometimes look at us and say that we're weird because we talk about energy. But I mean, what a world we live in, right? Where what it actually is, people don't believe it is. Joel, amen, Rosetta, Verna. Mother Earth says, get off the path, get off the path. So you must be going down a path that's not feeling good and wanting to get onto a new path, right, Verna? Yes, 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 yes. Georgia, Mother Earth is saying, to go on. Yes, Georgia. Rosetta, you mentioned being burned at the stake. I was once told years ago by a random fortune teller that I was burned. Yes. I find um, at, in my previous life, I didn't quite know how to interpret that. Yeah. Um, we have come here many, 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 many times. And um, in unenlightened times, people like us who would heal, I think... Uh, Kelly put in a, a black and white picture of this old crone woman putting her hands on this young woman to heal her. This is what we used to get killed for <laughs> because the church dominated, right? The church that had nothing to do with Jesus. And, um, and so we have that in our DNA. And so we are a little afraid because you know, we're going to get criticized if we step out and are more of who we are. But you get to the point, you just go, I can't not be who I am. I am more of me. 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 More and more and more and more and more and more of me. And that just means following the feel good and doing what feels right. And that's what brought me out of lifetime suicidal depression, you guys. That is what brought me out of lifetime suicidal depression and anxiety where I used to pull my hair out when I was a kid. I used to start popping, popping my knuckles when I was six. I had eating disorders when I was six. I've had it all and now I'm healed and I've owned the vision. The thing, that thing that you've seen in your mind is from God. What you are seeking seeks you. That, that vision feels good. It's a vision of yourself. Trust it and go forward and go forward with it. And, go, and here is the space every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, where we will support and celebrate you. There will be no uh, you know, criticism here. None of my communities have any criticism. It's only celebration and honoring of you. 
celebrating you for stepping out in faith. So yes, Rosetta, and I find that those of us that that's the case, we are the ones who are least, re most resistant to become who we are and the most needed in the world. The most needed in the world. Rosetta, thank you, Lorraine. You are so welcome. Kelly, wow, that's amazing. Now know why many are stuck going nowhere. Yes, and it's always the people, Kelly, like you, who are so gifted, so talented, and this is how we hang out in life. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, am I in your way? Oh, I'm sorry. We're apologizing for our existence, but you know why? Because we used to get killed for it, okay? For our very existence. And oftentimes we come into families where that's even the scenario. So it reinforces it. And then our challenge, our greatest adventure in life is coming up and out of that and remembering who we are. And I'm here to help you remember who you are. Just hanging out in this energy every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, setting your alarm, not letting um, <clears throat> you know anything get in your head like, oh, you're weak because you need to be here. Not letting any of that stuff happen. Look, we are, we are a sister tribe of earth angels. This is the earth angel nation and there are pockets of earth angel nations coming alive all over the world, all over the world. And you will become one of them as you remember and acknowledge and have the courage to believe again in that vision that has been sown in your heart. As you come back online with that, as you own it, and come into the fullness and start to believe those visions. Because look, we are all visionaries. We are magical creatures. When Karen said she created a magical meditation space in her house, we are magical. We are magical. We are connected to nature. And I had a vision the other day when I was walking through Walmart that as I was walking through, everything was coming alive. Like relationships were healing, um, people were, people's hearts were opening and it's like that. Like when Karen, when you walk through the woods, just imagine all the flowers coming alive, you know, their root systems being more nourished. Kelly, your, your sacred center coming alive. It takes courage, you guys, to believe again in our visions. It takes courage. It takes courage, but I'm here to encourage you and you encourage me as we go on and on and on in our vision. Siska, where you're going, I love your branding and what you're doing now. And it's just like, I'm like, I'm watching you and me and Kate. We're like the three people from the last round of our mentor um, who are like in there doing it, <laughs> like in there expanding. And so our visions are coming alive because we are feeding it, Rosetta. We are feeding it, Karen. We are feeding it, Verna. We are feeding it, Vicky. We are feeding it, Hope. We are feeding it. We are feeding it. We are feeding it, Georgia. <sighs> we are stoking that fire. We are stoking that fire. And there is no better high, you guys. There is no better high than seeing who you are and falling in love with this being that God has made you that is I won't say any more important than this bumblebee. However, if you look at the impact of this bumblebee compared to the impact that you could have, it's kind of a duh, duh. Except we have the power of creation within us every minute of every day. Yes, so my mission is to bring all of you back online and then to have you have thriving practices. And like Siska, who's, you know, touches in from London once in a while, you know, we're colleagues. And you and me will be colleagues together. <laughs> you know, as you have your, your healing center, Kelly. Georgia, as you do what you're going to do and how you come out and are just becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and believing in your vision at such a young age of 19. As um, hope, as you come online with your healing, see, I really believe you have healing powers in your hands like I do. That's why you're a nurse. 
as you come online with that. And it doesn't mean you have to be public like public like I am with it. Don't ever think that. It's what's comfortable to you, what feels right to you. I won't say comfortable. <laughs> I retract that word. But when you're in it, doing it, it is very comfortable, you guys. Kelly, we are energy. How can it not exist? Yes, 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 yes. Kelly, always support each other. Yes. Kathy, good morning. Kathy's saying, good morning, earth angels. Yes. Kathy, as you um, have screenplays and we all buy your movie and we're all celebrating you and we're become your fans, okay? Yes, yes, and Georgia is here from Australia. Good morning. Oh my God, Georgia, I am so high. <sighs> Thank you for asking. Kelly, good morning to Kathy. Yes, 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 yes. There is no better feeling than knowing that you are you are cruising down the highway in your purpose in a a paced speed. When you are saying yes to your desires, you are saying yes to that thing, that desire in your heart that is seeking you as much as you are seeking it. Yes, good morning to everyone from Georgia. That you, the thing that you seek is seeking you. The thing that you seek is seeking you. The thing that you seek is seeking you. I'd like you to write that down right now. What I am seeking is seeking me. I also recommend when you join us at 8 a.m. Eastern every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you have your journal here and you are writing down notes because these are direct. I am, I am sitting here in my purpose delivering to you everything that Source is inspiring me to give you. This is called channeling, if you like. Bring your journal, bring your water, which I didn't do this morning. <laughs> bring your water. Um, be prepared. Show up here at 8 a.m. Eastern for yourself. For yourself. Because you know how you feel when you're on here. Hope has been exercising for two months on her exercise bike here with me. Take me on your walk with you. Kelly, yes, 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 yes. It ingrained in me yes yes Kelly and that's the thing what are, my sister and I were having this conversation over text last night well last night and this morning I wake up in the morning and I've got a whole bunch of texts from her and when she gets home from or when she wakes up she's got a whole bunch of texts from me um <clears throat> how she's addicted now to this positive stuff and this is the addiction we are meant to have you guys not substance not the cigarettes and the alcohol and the marijuana and the you know other things we've done in our lifetime. Um, you know, that, that's, that's the addiction that will be sure to nail our foot in the ground. Like uh, on Wednesday, it was oh, Thursday night, I took myself out for Mexican food and I had two margaritas. I adored every, every single sip and I was scared that I would have a hangover. I didn't, but I noticed that I was very low energy on Thursday, on Friday. Friday, Thursday, on Thursday. I took myself out to dinner on Wednesday night. On Thursday, after having two margaritas, I was very low energy. <laughs> in fact, I had to pretty much spend the day in bed. Didn't have a hangover though, thank God. But that was alcohol, okay? So the addiction that we want to, as the good things for us, showing up here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern, taking your walk, drinking your celery juice, which I haven't made this morning, but I've got the celery sitting on the counter so I can't avoid it. Um, plugging in, re reviewing these live streams during, on Tuesday, Thursday, and the weekends, staying in the continuous cycle of this energy. And then our mind goes, oh, this is stupid. You should be able to do this by yourself. And it's like, I'm here to say, no, no, <laughs> that is not true. That is not true. We all need this. I don't feel wanted here, Georgia says. Well, darling, I want to suggest this much. I want you here. And if you and I have that, who cares about anything else, okay? And that feeling you're feeling, I don't know. But I want you here. 
So darling, you can just hang on to Aunt Lorraine and let me tell you how much I love you and how much I want you here. And just let all the rest go away. This would be a very good exercise for you. It's a very good exercise for everybody else too because we all have this inferior ego. <clears throat> Everyone who's on this call has, a, has this inferior ego. And um, we need to just hang on to what feels good and let the rest go. And Georgia, if I'm the only bright spot for you here, then darling, this is your chance to exercise that muscle and go, Lorraine loves me. Lorraine wants me here. She's the one running the call. So I am wanted. And I am going to just focus on Lorraine's energy in this call and nobody else. You might just want to turn off comments or something, Georgia, whatever it is that's triggering you, okay? So this thing that I'm sharing with Georgia right now is a imperative tool. We can have all kinds of things going well in our life and if one thing is wrong, our mind will focus on that one thing because we are in survival mode, okay? That is the human condition at this state until we elevate out of it, okay? So this here that I'm, um, uh, that I am uh, telling you is the biggest tool you can learn. That when uh, Abraham says, when, when if everything is going to shit around you and there's one thing that's a bright spot and we focus on that one things, that one thing that's a bright spot, Georgia, here's what I wanna say about being the bad one. You're not. Just other people perceived you as that and they have told you that because um, they don't understand, okay? And this is the spot, if you just focus on me, I only see your purity. That's one of my gifts, you guys. <laughs> it's one of my gifts. I only see your potential. <laughs> I, you know, I went through a, a whole year of shit show with my son last year and and uh, I, I finally came around to this place of, um, of uh, he just needs more love and support. So I started picturing him and that's, I mean, to the deepest, that was the deepest heartbreak of my life, what I went through last year with him. But I hold him in, you know, namaste, like I do you, like I do everything else. And I know that whatever behavior people do is just because it's the only way they know, it's the best way they know how to get the attention uh, that they need, the love that they need. Even the people who wanna rule the world, <laughs> they're just needing more love. That's all it is. So darling, um, when we do behavior that is um, off-putting, it's because we're trying to get attention. I just heard Gay Hendricks say, he used to be uh, the class clown. He was always in trouble because he was trying to get a attention from male figures because he didn't have a father. It just makes so much sense, you guys. And then, uh, Georgia, it normalizes. Once you can just accept that about yourself, it normalizes, and then pretty soon you can look back on it, at it and laugh, and then you can just start to notice yourself when you do behaviors and that, that cause other people to, to say that you're bad, okay? And, but it's all part of who you are and the beauty of who you are. And, and you guys, what I'm saying to Georgia is for everybody, life couldn't even exist without experiencing self through you. Life couldn't even exist without experiencing itself through you. And that's why you are here, Georgia. That's why you are here. In just exactly the way you are now. Just the way you are now. Life had to experience itself through you. 
And now it's gonna to get to experience yourself through your healing and your upward spiral and your upward spiral and your upward spiral up and up and up and up and up and up into the healing. It's all about healing our nervous system. And you know, you must have a personality type that uh, you know does things a certain way when you're triggered. I have a personality type where I do things another way when I feel triggered, which is I get small. <laughs> you might have something different, but it's all beautiful. It's all beautiful. It's all beautiful, Georgia. So I want you here, and my invitation to you is to really practice this gift, this tool, uh, practice this tool. Well, Georgia, you can, um, you can let that be the reason that you deprive yourself of this energy? That's a stupid human trick. I'm just gonna give you a shoulder shaking right now. That's a stupid human trick. You would, you would, de you would de deny yourself the pleasure um, of being here because of that? That is you letting other people control you. Okay, Georgia says she's leaving, so I'm just gonna let her leave. But I'm just gonna keep going on this because this is so important, you guys. When we expect other people to be a certain way for us to be happy, we have given over our power to them. Hope is seeing you love, Georgia, by all of us. And you are. Um, so, and I remember when Giselle went through this, <laughs> you guys, and it's okay, whatever you have to be in, but just know that if you have to leave, you're still welcome to come back. That's all. And can we be strong enough to give ourselves what we want, even if there is other weird stuff going on around us? Can we be strong enough to um, hold on to our vision, hold on to our desire, to not take no for an answer and to keep knocking on that door and keep asking for what we want and keep asking for what we want and keep asking for what we want and not expect anyone else around us to behave a certain way for us to feel happy and feel good. Now, this does not include being abused, just to let you know. Like, yeah, okay, if that's the only reason, Georgia, yes. If that's the only reason, then yes. This has been so good this morning, Georgia. Thank you for bringing this up because everyone here feels the same thing. I, I caught that Rosetta said she could really relate. Um, are we going to let other people continue to bully us around? No. I'm going to say no for you. <laughs> we get to be 100% who we are. 100% who we are. We might find that if we do certain behaviors, we lose friends or something like that. I don't, I don't know exactly what's going on, Georgia, but you know, we learn, okay, from social conditioning, if I act this way, I have more friends. If I act this way, I get less friends. So... Um, you know, we learn and modify, but being 100% who we are, it does not mean projecting damage onto anybody else though. That's why when somebody has, when I've gotten hurt by somebody, I don't tell them about it. Unless I know it's a completely safe person. Like, you know, say if D hurt me, I know if I hurt, got hurt by something D said, I might mention it, but the way I would mention it is uh, I would say it like this. I would say, God, you know, when you said that, this is what went on in my mind. I immediately projected that you didn't like me and it hurt me because when I thought about not having you in my life, it just really hurt. Yes, 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 yes. So Georgia, just let that defiant spirit come up. No, absolutely not. Here's the thing, you guys, I take no sides on anything. Georgia, no. I take no sides. 
I am impartial. That is my gift. <laughs> That's what I learned from being a counselor for 27 years, okay, and hearing everything under the sun. And I learned to have compassion for everybody in every scenario because I know that's what God sees. So, <clears throat> you guys, the stupid human trick is to de 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 deny ourselves, deny ourselves the things that we want because we think someone else doesn't in Georgia, doesn't want us here, thinks bad things about us. It's a good time to stand strong. You know, if you think you've done something to hurt them, you might want to reach out and apologize. I don't know, but that's something that I have done. It's really helped me to, um, you know, uh, restore and make sure I'm not carrying any bad stuff around. <clears throat> So, um, Georgia, I want you to um, just let it go now, okay? Let it go and get into this space, this energy. I want you to just let it go, let it go, let it go, and invite you into a higher space. Because right now you are down so low in the lower frequencies that you are like where you will attract a mugger or a murderer, okay? You are in such a low energy now because you're looking at those things, the stupid human tricks, right? Get back up in the Georgia energy that I know that is putting good things on my, on my groups. And I want you, I just want to invite you to get out of the cesspool right now because your mind, you are laying down neural trackway, your neural pathways in your mind while you keep rehearsing this and keep rehearsing this and keep rehearsing this. Find a new story. Find a new story. Send that person love and let it go. And now is your time to rise up as the woman of God that I know you to be. All right? Hari, good morning. <laughs> Hari says, Lorraine, you are our energy. Yes, I'm your energy because it's your energy. <laughs> it's your energy. I'm here reminding you who you are for you all to become powerful in your own realm. Hari, for you to start being a teacher in India where you live. Yes, 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 yes. So I am sealing off that whole conversation with Georgia and within a big ball of light and love. This is a big tool, you guys do adopt this. I'm putting a big ball of light and love around that whole conversation. Love, 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 healing, 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 healing. Every man, every woman is a chain, a golden link in my chain for good. Every man and every woman that crosses my path is a golden link in the chain for good. Yes, 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 yes. And whatever we practice, we create more of. You're we are a creator. What do we want to create? Think those thoughts. Think on these things. That's why it says in the Bible, whatever is beautiful, whatever is precious, whatever is lovely, whatever makes you feel good. Think of these things. Good morning, D. Thank you for seeing us as we are, Lorraine. You are so welcome, Dee. You are so welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hari, your deeds and words reduces the pH level in our blood so everybody can be happy with your practice. Thank you, Hari. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, you know, I do it for me and I do it for you because I know who you are. I am you and you are me. And... I understand everything that everybody is going through, okay? I understand it. I have lived it. I have lived it. I have lived it and I've come through it. I only see your end result. I only see your end result. I only see you in your evolved state. But this is the same thing that you have in you, the same gift you have in you. We are earth angels. We are the earth angel nation. 
And I fully expect as you make Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern showing up here and not missing a drop. And if you come in later, or you watch the replay, you watch it over and over and over again and let this energy wash you, wash you, wash you, wash you, wash you. You will be in an elevated state where everything comes to you. Everything you touch turns to gold. Everything you touch turns to energetic gold. Every person you pass on the highway turns into blessings. I'm driving and I'm just saying, may all beings be blessed and blessing, blessings, blessings, blessings. I see someone walking on, I see a human doing their best to struggle along in this thing called life and I send them so many blessings. I'm just sending blessings every minute of every day. And uh, you know, my life is just opening up, you guys. Hari, you are filling full of positiveness in us. Hearing of you is also enough to be healthy and happy. Yes, people heal in this space, you guys. If you have an ailment, you must commit to being here. It's not about me, you guys, please. You must know that about me by now. <laughs> it's not about me. It's about the energy and what can happen to you. Because I see every single one of you bringing in more and more and more people and then starting your own things and it's just thriving and thriving and thriving in your gift and every day you get more and more aligned to your gift more and more aligned with your gift and more and more aligned in the perfection of your gifts and you are online with your gifts and you are in your zone of genius and you are operating at high speed like a highly tuned beautiful race car in your zone of genius. This is where I am now. This is where I'm going. If you want more of this, stay close. Stay close. I freely share with you how I got here from being a lifelong suicidal depressant until seven years ago. Seven years ago in June, I got off of my 18 year addiction to Zoloft. right? 2013. It'll be eight years in June. Up until that day, almost every single day of my life, I wanted to leave the planet because I felt so bad. And I don't want to spend a lot of time going back in there, but just to let you know, this is unmedicated. I take no medications. I'm almost 70. I'm going to be 70 in two years. <laughs> Um, my birthday is June 30th. I'm going to start celebrating now, letting everybody know my birthday is June 30th. Uh, Hari, you are like a temple for me. Honestly, rather than God, cosmic energy is there in temples. Oh, Hari, that's amazing. <laughs> wow. That, that means a lot coming from somebody in India. <laughs> Wow, Hari, thank you so much. I just really received that. But here's what I want you guys to know. If you're seeing it in me and it's attractive to you, uh, oh, that is amazing, Karen. Um, if, I'm, if you're seeing it in me and it's attractive to you, it's only because it's in you and you're recognizing it. That's what I'm trying to say, you guys. It's only because it's in you and you're recognizing it. I'm only showing you who you are. I want you to just soak that in. Anything you see in me that you desire, it's yours, take it. <laughs> it's yours, it is yours. <laughs> Do you get that? I really want you to know that. Whenever we're jealous of somebody, I'm not saying you're jealous of me, but whenever we're jealous of somebody, it means that, that, that we see something in them that we know is in us. So who is it that you're jealous of? That Not jealous maybe, but you go, oh, I wish I had her courage or ooh, I wish I could be that. There's an essence of it that is in you already. That potential is in you. I personally love positive loving persons so much. Yes, Hari, me too. <laughs> me too. And now I'm at this place and you guys are welcome to have this energy the longer you hang here with me where everything you touch turns to gold. You walk into a store and 
I mean, it's not even attention on me, you guys. It, I just notice, I feel the energy around people perking up, perking up, perking up. Their, their bodies get healed. The depressed person um, has a moment of clarity. The, uh, the sick person has a, a moment of, of being their, their ailment being lifted. But you must commit to doing what feels good to you. You must commit to doing what feels good to you. And um, that means being here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern to remember who you are. Be in this soup, 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 be in this soup. Steep yourself, steep yourself in the energy of remembering who you are. So what is your body saying to you? What is it saying it needs from you? Your 50 plus trillion cells, what are they saying? My body's saying have fun. What is your body saying it wants? What does it need from you to heal over the weekend? I'm definitely getting my Peloton bike. I'm putting it in my bedroom. <laughs> Kelly, relax and enjoy what's around you. Yes, 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 yes. So I want each and every one of you to promise me that that vision that is in your heart, you are going to do it. And all you have to do, because the big vision is overwhelming, but we just have to ask, just show me the next step, the next aligned action. What's the next aligned action? Uh, D, more self-love with no guilt. Yes, 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 yes. Karen, my body says it needs more exercise but not work. Yes, Karen, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Because here's the thing. If we have more self-love and less guilt, it doesn't matter what we eat. Everything will align itself. I've personally been on the Anthony William protocol for two years and now I've been doing light therapy and it's just an amazing stuff for my body. And um, I, I've, I feel like I've reversed age just 10 years in the last two weeks. Like everything's just come together because I've been following my intuition on eating and, and everything and, and this thing has just come, come to me. Hari, hope in your next session we can have a discussion about sex and devotion and sex versus devotion versus happiness. I can touch on it right now. Um, so are you, are you thinking that sex has a, uh, would be a, um, a disconnect for devotion and happiness? The above discussion can bring a lot of answers. Yeah. See, I think if, if, you feel like having sex, you should have sex as long as the other person wants to have sex with you. Um, you know, never a forced thing. And that it never, ever, 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 ever would detract from your purpose and what you're doing unless you're feeling your soul calling telling you not to. That's, you know, something I would not ever go against. But it would never be against uh, happiness or devotion, Hari. How could it be? when it's a natural thing, just like, just like being happy is a natural thing. Otherwise, kids wouldn't always be playing with themselves, right? Before adults are telling them, you can't do that, that's bad, that's wrong. Kids are like the closest thing to source, right? So you can have it all, Hari. You can have it all as long as you're not hurting anybody. But I, I would say intentionally hurting anybody. They can choose to be hurt, but no, and I know, especially for a man, there's just so much guilt around it because you guys think about sex like 60,000 times a day. You can't help it. 
You cannot help it. What I teach is that by getting into this high state, your heart gets so alive that it engorges like your sexual or organs and it stimulates blood up into your thymus, which started shutting down in puberty. And that is the, the youth hormone, the fountain of youth. Can you guys believe I'm going to be 70 years old? I mean, I, I have known for about 20 years that I was going to be a role model for people in my age group. <laughs> and now, because I've just known that in my being and I believed the vision and I stayed with it, even though like most days I was like, oh no, that's not true. Or I wouldn't even remember it. It's like now, because I practiced the vibration, practice the vibration, practice the vibration, the answers are coming to me because I was just like, this is bullshit that women have to look haggard as we get older. No, I don't buy it. 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 And then we have to take hormone replacement therapy. You might sometimes in the beginning, but I don't buy it. Um, and so because I've just refused to buy into the stupid human belief that when you get older, your bones get brittle, you lose your musculature, your skin starts sagging. I'm like, no, no, I don't believe it. <laughs> not for one minute. God is not like that. that. We do not have an unfair God. That is only mass consciousness belief, you guys. That is only mass consciousness belief. And mass consciousness belief brings us down, brings us down, brings us down into the denser, denser, denser energies. I want nothing to do with mass consciousness belief, you guys. So Hari, my son has dealt with this a lot. And it's like, no, darling, you are an extremely sexual creature, especially men. Embrace it embrace it and follow your your it, it, without guilt and shame this is a no guilt no shame zone here you guys no guilt no shame no condemnation no judgment we are about lightning so if, if you are to allow yourself to be 100 percent all of you i'm going to ask this question right now how would you be more of you right now? How would you be more of you right now? What would you do to be more of you right now? I want to hear it in the comments. What would you do to be more of you right now? Uh, I would be just more uh, shining bright. More of me. Write it in the comments. By shining bright brighter. Shining brighter. I would be more of me by shining brighter. How would you be more of you? If it, Kelly, if it feels good, do it. Feels bad, don't. Yes, Abraham says, follow the feel good, follow the feel good, follow the feel good, follow the feel good. When I had the two margaritas, it felt good. I was celebrating. I was celebrating. I was leaving Voxer messages for my mentor and I, it just felt so good. It felt so good. I was so high. I'm following the feel good. 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 What feels light? Whatever feels light will take you hot, lighter and higher. Yes, you are true, but will you play by nature and Maya always? Yes. Not sure exactly what that means, but I, I know that I will, Hari. As I get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, I will always be this person, you guys. I will, I will morph into more of who I am, though. More powerful. I will become more powerful, but it will always be me, okay? So what will you do to be more of you? Be more of you. Tap in right now to your inner being, how can I be more of me today? What would I do to be more of me? How can I shine myself more brightly now? Ah, uh, yes, 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 
Yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes. How will you be more of you? Where are you holding yourself down? Where are you suppressing yourself? Where are you holding yourself back? Where are you making yourself small? Treat myself with kindness, Georgia. I love that. Yes, 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 love. And love yourself exactly as you are now. Karen, I need to be more patient and understanding with yourself. Yes, but how can you be, yeah, be more of you by being more patient and understanding, which just means to be just more of you. More kindness. Yes, Georgia. And as you're more kind to yourself, that kindness is just going to spread out. Okay, love? Only say, do, be, feel, hear, watch, be around what feels good. If it doesn't feel good, get away from it. So I will never say something that doesn't feel good. And that's why when I feel hurt from somebody, I will not tell them. Because I will only tell them out of anger and that will cause more pain. So it's then, if I got hurt, it was my choice to be hurt. And it's my thing to deal with, not them. Not them. They were put there to bring up this thing in me that needs to be healed to my attention. So... I use it all to heal myself. Oh, I only say what feels good. I only say what feels good. I only say what feels good. And uh, if I'm around somebody that I've been hurt from, they haven't hurt me. I've allowed myself to be hurt by something that they've done by putting what they said into a context of something former in my life had nothing to do with them anyway. <laughs> it's just the way I construed it. And um, it's mine to process. And so I still won't talk to my son about, I, I'm not, won't talk to him. It's just, you know what? We just didn't talk about it. He came over on Mother's Day, brought me a rose, brought me a card brought me a mug and we just picked up where we left off and it was beautiful. Didn't need to talk about it. I got purified. You guys, if you, you, you probably saw me elevate into a much higher state from that valley that I went through with him last year. Georgia, you're only hurt by people if you allow yourself to be hurt by them. Now, if you're being physically or emotionally or mentally abused by somebody, then no, you need to get away from them. But if someone says something and it, you feel hurt, it's something in you that's touching a pain spot that is already there and has nothing to do with that other person. Rosetta, I understand what you were saying, Lorraine, but I find it hard not to talk about it with someone I care about it clearing it all, but it doesn't always work out well. That's, yes, that's what I'm saying. See, I don't wanna go in there and go, I got really hurt by what you said um, because what comes back is not pretty and I don't wanna see that part of them. I only wanna see people's potential, okay? I don't wanna, but if you're married to somebody and they're you know doing a behavior, you might go to them and say, when you do, every time you do this, this is what comes up in me and I really need to continue to work on myself. You know, like, like if you're going to do that, I'm going to find a place to go. I'm going to, you know, go into my little prayer place or I'm going to, you know, have a separate bedroom because uh, it, it's, it's so disrupting to me. But I love you and I choose to still be with you. So, I mean, I can see that happening, but not blaming them for it. No, <laughs> no, but I did. Those of you who watched me last year, I did blame my son. There, were, there was a lot of time where I blamed my son, right? I had to go through that valley, but I came up like, oh my God, I came up to greater echelons of sainthood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Georgia, exactly, yeah. You just step aside and keep going on your merry way. 
I mean, look, don't you think I've had to come into some of that, coming into such a public space? I'm a public figure, you guys. But look at my energy. I just know that those who aren't ready for me, they're not ready for me. They may never be ready for me. I'm not their cup of tea. That's okay. That's okay. I'm not for everybody. Because I know I'm Pollyanna. <laughs> yeah, you just, you, eight billion people in the world, Georgia. Eight billion people. So with this energy, you guys, we're going to just send this superhuman energy out into the planet that all beings would be elevated above the stupid fucking human tricks. The things that keep us in the dense energy that, that ignite the illnesses and the diseases in our bodies. The guilt and the shame, the anger, the resentment, the bitterness. Part of the reason I look this way is because I have no anger. I have no bitterness. I have no resentment anymore. I've just surrendered it. If those things come up, I notice the tension in my body. I do the Ardeo technique. I, I relax the body part. I surrender the burden because it's a burden that's been put on my body that I've decided to pick up and I let it go. You guys, I'm 68 years old. I'm getting younger all the time because I don't hang on to any of that bullshit. just let it go through me. Oh, Matt Kahn said this. When we feel good, we are channeling the positive energy into the planet. When we feel bad, we are transmuting the bad energy out of the planet. Okay? We are the snails going over cornmeal to clean ourselves out. Yes, yes, Georgia, especially. Yes, especially. You just say, I send you off with love. I send you off with love. Only love. Nothing but love. Nothing but love, you guys. Nothing but love. And ask for compassion and ask for grace and ask for mercy. Ask the angel of mercy and love and grace and compassion to be over them and over you. Because you are going to be... Georgia, that you're going through this hardship that we all have gone through so many hardships in our, 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 in our lives. Earth Angel Nation especially has gone through hardships in our early life. It's because we are processing that energy and a lot of times we get stuck. A lot of the Earth Angels get stuck thinking that it's about us. It's not about us. We are simply using that now as a vehicle to be shining lights as we come into compassion and understanding and grace and mercy. Grace and mercy, grace and mercy. And light pours through us. Light pours through us and shines out of your face when you walk through the grocery store and everybody lights up and you make people's days. Just your presence, just your being. Stay out of it, Georgia. It's none of your business. It's none of your business. It's none of your business. You just mind your own business and stay happy. You just step it aside. You just step aside. You just step aside. That's the stupid human trick, trying to understand it. That's your mind trying to get in there. <laughs> if you notice, that energy is bringing you down and down and down and down and down, like screwing a screw in tighter and tighter and tighter or turning off a faucet where you're turning it to the right and clockwise and it's turning off the flow. Get your mind out of there. Stop analyzing. Stop analyzing. Get into your heart and open your heart. Hold the deliberate intent of ease. Ease. Ease and open heartedness. Ease and open-heartedness. Hold the deliberate intent. That means you are making a deliberate decision to be in ease and have your heart open. And when your heart is open, your brain is not engaged to try to figure the fuck out. 
That will kill you because you will never figure it out. It's none of your business. You just let it go, send them love, and go on your merry way. Rosetta, yes, wish them only well. We have to keep our thoughts positive. And yes, we have to keep our thoughts positive. We have to keep our thoughts pure. The, that's why Paul said in Corinthians, I think, D, you know the Bible better than me. Whatever is of good report, think on these things. What is that scripture? Whatever is happy, lovely, whatever is of good report, think on these things, think on these things. Think. Why do you think in my Hacks for Anxiety and Depression group, we are focusing on beauty because beauty makes everything that's not beautiful fall away. If you just focus on that one thing that's beautiful, it will magnify and because that is life. That is life. Don't figure it out. Do not figure it out. Have the courage to come out of your brain and down into your heart and into your body. Because when you start to think those thoughts, Georgia, when you start to ask those questions, your body does not feel good. I bet you a hundred bucks you have a knot in your stomach or your heart is all seized up. You guys, Ardeo, relax your body. Surrender the bullfuck. Surrender it into Mother Earth who is the master composter. Surrender it. Get rid of it. Get it off your hands. And then hold the deliberate intent of ease. Ease and open-heartedness. When you're open-hearted, you have no bitterness. You have no resentment. You have no grudges. All of a sudden, you have understanding and you have compassion. And then all of a sudden, Georgia, you have your answer from that place. But not from trying to figure it out. Never works. Never. I just gave you a superhuman trick. A superhuman trick, you guys. This is how to bypass going into the bowels of the valley of despair every time you get hurt by something. As earth angels, we could get hurt a hundred times a day. Tell me what kind of life that would be. Is that the life you want? Not me. Used to be. Not what I wanted, but what I had. I'm gonna plug in my phone, hang on. I've got the Midas touch. Everything I touch turns to gold. Yeah, baby. I got the Midas touch. Let me touch your spirit and your soul. I got the Midas touch. I've got the Midas touch. I understand what you're saying, Lorraine, but I can relate to Georgia, of course. I too tend to analyze hurtful things. You guys, how do you think I know this? I spent my, my life trying to analyze it. And that's what caused me to be suicidally depressed. How could my mother do this to me? How could my dad have said that to me? How could I be so rejected by my family? I tried to figure it out. I tried to justify it. I tried to make myself right and them wrong. And you may need that, you may need to follow that path. I'm just giving you the shortcut if you want to just bypass it all and just go on to your full genius and brilliance. And then you'll hear things that just are, are striking uh, so much beauty, like Matt Kahn saying, when people are mean, when people say mean things, that's the best they've got. When people say mean things and do mean things, that's the best they have. They just showed you their very best and you were a safe enough place that they could show you their pain. And it just happened to be put on you, but you don't take it personally. 
D, thank you so much. This is the scripture, you guys. Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Philippians 4, 8. I'm going to read that again and just let it wash your soul. And Georgia, that means about this person you're talking about. If there is anything true about them, anything honorable about them, if there's one thing honorable about them, if there's one thing just about them, focus on that one thing. When I first came to the mainland after being in Hawaii for six years, and I was hit by the biggest devastation and fear in my life. And I, I had a situation in my life where there was a person who was so challenging for me that all I could do was this Ardeo practice in another form and focus on two things and then three things about this person that I loved and appreciated. And that's all I let my mind focus on about them. And I focused on those things and I focused on those things and I focused on those things and my appreciation for them grew. And every time my mind was inviting me to go into the gossip backbiting mode, even in my mind, I would never even allow my mind to go there and I would immediately turn around and say, but they're this, and they're this, and they're this. And, and I would say it again, 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 and I would say it again. Until my brain just gave up complaining and bitching about them. And then they would do another thing to slice my heart open. And I would focus on what was beautiful about them. My mind didn't win, I won. I trained my brain to focus on everything that was true about them, everything that was honorable about them, everything that was just about them, everything that was pure about them, everything that was lovely about them, everything that was commendable about them. And I found everything that was excellent about that person and everything that was worthy of praise about that person. And I thought on those things and I dwelled on those things. I dwelled on those things. And it healed our relationship. I'm living proof that this works. I decided I was going to have a pure heart because it felt bad to think bad thoughts about them. It felt bad in my body. The reason is, is that's not the way God sees them. And whenever I think about somebody in a way that God doesn't see them, it feels bad. It does not feel good. And that causes disease in my body. It causes wrinkles on my face. It causes my skin to sag. It causes my muscles to lose energy. It causes my bones to get brittle. But as I focus on the beauty in every person, even those people who have said mean things to me, even those people who have done mean things to me, as I send them love, and I know that what they have said to me has been the best that they've got. My muscles come back and my face relaxes. My bones get stronger. My cells get healthier.
and I'm in the upward spiral of better and better and better and better and better. Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable. Find the things that are commendable about this person, these people in our lives who are our teachers. <clears throat> if the vial was not in your heart, whatever they did to make you strike out or do whatever behavior that you're doing that's not pretty, it would not come out if it was not there already. If you squeeze an orange, you get orange juice, not pomegranate juice. So when you are squeezed by the circumstances of life, when we are squeezed by people in our life that we feel betrayed by, and we turn vile and we turn ugly and we hate them and we, we wish bad things on them, that was in our heart and they, they poked on it so that we could see that that was in our heart to heal. They didn't do it to us. They didn't make us feel hurt. They didn't make us feel hateful. No, it was in my heart. That was in my heart. Now I get to heal it. Thank you. Thank you for turning up the heat under me so that I could see that this is needing to be scraped off and I'm going to thank you for healing me. I'm going to thank you for bringing this to my attention so that I can deeper love you and have a greater place of compassion because I'm so thankful that you were placed in my life to show me what was still in my heart. Thank you, I honor you. I thank you for trusting me enough to be your dumping ground to show me the hurt that's in your heart. I thank you that you saw light enough in me and that I was a safe enough place. For you to show me how hurt you are. I never said that to them because they would never get that, but that's how I hold them in my heart. Now that I'm healed from the pain that I experienced by being in relationship with them. So nobody hurts me. If I am hurt, I have allowed it. And if I can't help being, I can't help allowing myself to be hurt by them, then what comes up in my life, what comes up in my stupid human tricks, my bag, of, my, my bag of stupid human tricks, is what is in my heart to heal. And it is my opportunity to heal and to grow and to further purify myself so I can be a further vessel of light. I think that's why there's so much light that comes through me, you guys. Does this make sense? What do you think the fuck Jesus was talking about, you guys? <laughs> what do you think the fuck he was talking about? When they were pounding nails into him and he said, Father, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. And the people who are who are in your life and you're feeling hurt by, <clears throat> they don't know what they're doing. They're giving you their best. Is this making sense? <laughs> Did we come to a standstill? <laughs> and the more we walk this path, the more we can allow more light to come through us because listen up, it's who you are. And if you're not letting light come through you, you're gonna get diseased and die of an early age. 
You gotta be more of you. You gotta be more of you. You gotta be more of you. You gotta let more of that light come through. And more of you means you love unconditionally. More of you means when someone says something and it says, ouch, you might say, ouch, but you don't blame them. You don't, if you do blurt out and start, you know, lashing out in anger, you go, that was in me. That's not them. That was in me. That was in my heart to purify. It's not them. They were my teacher that showed me that I had that in there. I'm not going to blame it on them. That's like uh, not taking responsibility, right? Do you want to be a being of light? Let this stuff process you. Let it purify you. Let it turn up the fire. Just let it. Use the Ardeo. You relax the body. When that happens, your body gets tense. You don't even have to know what it is anymore. If I just notice my body's tense, I just relax it and I surrender. I relax it and then I surrender that burden because it's a burden. They said that, I took it this way. Do I want, really want to play in that sand, sandbox? No. I want to climb the tree. I want to see from a higher vision, higher vision, higher vision, higher vision. Bring me a higher love. 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 This is how we get there, guys but we don't have to stay there and we don't have to figure it out. We may decide that someone's behavior is not what we enjoy being around anymore. And that's when we lovingly say goodbye, but not in anger, because that will never feel good to you. It will never sit with you. Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, is there, if there is any excellence, any, one drop of excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about those things. Focus on beauty. It might take a while to get over the shock and awe that someone actually said that to you. That's grief. You're grieving the loss of someone who was dear, but who knows? This is, this is what life is giving you as, as your school. You're getting your PhD in Earth Angel, dumb guys. You're, you are in the Earth Angel nation. You are an Earth Angel. We are here to be vessels of light, but we don't have to let it hurt us. We don't have to let it damage us, kill us, bring us down. We don't have to let that happen. You want to have the Midas touch with me? Follow these things. Do the Ardeo practice every single minute of every single day that you have just surrender that thing, surrender that thing, surrender that thing, surrender that thing. Surrender that thing. Focus on the beautiful about that person. Focus on the positive memories you have about that person. Right? I have cards in my house of what I wanted from my family. I started focusing on that. I started visualizing that. I started feeling that in my body. And that's what happened. That's what's coming around now after a year. Almost a year and a half now. Of the rupture. <clears throat> Everything is happening for you and not to you. Everything is happening for us and not to us. If it feels painful, it's still for us, for our growth, for our purification, for our beauty. That's what Hari is seeing, is my purification. He's seeing the light in me that is in him. If it wasn't in him, he wouldn't recognize it. <sighs> Think on these things. 
If you're having a rough day, focus on one thing that's beautiful. One thing that's beautiful. All the love in your life. Not the love that's not there. Focus on the love that is there. If you, have, if you feel alone, focus on the one person in the world where you don't feel alone with. Call them. Focus on that. And then it will become more because what we focus on expands. What we focus on expands. What we focus on expands. What we focus on expands and expands and expands and expands and expands. <clears throat> I think this has been um, a live stream to keep. <laughs> this is the way out of the stupid, hu stupid human tricks into the superhuman tricks. Out of stupid human to superhuman, you guys. You wanna join me out of stupid human and step into superhuman? <clears throat> it's the only way out in bliss, you guys. It's the only way out in bliss, but it's worth it because you wind up with nothing stuck to you. Okay, my loves, thank you for joining me. I'll be back here again on Monday for Fairy Godmother Monday where we're gonna spend time in the quantum field of all possibilities. And we're gonna st spend time with your vision. We're gonna spend time with your beauty and we are going to magnify it in the quantum field of all possibilities. And Fairy Godmother Monday, 8 a.m. Eastern at facebook.com forward slash Lorraine Purcell MA. I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern for you and for me to elevate your energy and to remind you of who you are as a vital part of the Earth Angel Nation because now is go time. Time is now, you are needed. You are needed. I send you so much love. I'm honored that you were here with me today. I'll see you on Monday, if not before. Mm -hmm. Bye, beautiful. <laughs>